Yo guys, it's your boy Fabian back again with another video and today we are checking out all of Cyprus's entries to Eurovision from the years 1981 to 2022 and I'm excited but before we check out guys make sure you subscribe down below press the bell notification button down below so you can be the first to know when I upload check out all the reactions I've done to this year's Eurovision and also check out all the videos I've done that are similar to this one for other countries but let's stop with the talking and get on with the reaction Cyprus's entry to Eurovision from 1981 to 2022 let's go So Anavisi represented Greece and Cyprus. Interesting. Okay, so position wise um, I wouldn't say they absolutely flopped but I wouldn't say they've done great it's just somewhere in the middle but um, yeah probably not in this case because um, yeah they, they finished near the bottom near the bottom Ooh, so 1986 they finished dead lost I tell you what, that one was a bit of fun to be honest. To be fair though, there have been nice little entries, like it's not been anything that I've been like, whoa, that's a flop. In terms of hearing a song, obviously positionally one of them did flop, but um, yeah, in terms of the song, nothing shocking really. <laughs> You Talk Too Much is the name of the song. That's what uh, some people tell me on YouTube, but guess what? I do not care. I'm still waiting to see if Cyprus has any like top three finishes. I can't wait for the vibe to switch up just a little bit though because I'm feeling like the songs are a bit too similar at times.
so here they've come fifth and I think this could be the highest or did they come fourth once? Hey listen, I've reacted to quite a few, um, I've done quite a few videos before this so I forgot now but I mean a fifth quite good to be fair I know him by the way. I've seen him in concert live. Fun fact. Okay, so um, a couple of years here now Cyprus is finishing near the bottom although that last one I'm not sure why do you know what I mean they finally switched it up and they put them near the bottom They done quite well there, they come sixth. Cyprus for real though decided to switch up the vibe completely in the last four years. They've got a bit more dancey you now. Not for me this one. Okay, so we got our first fail to qualify from Cyprus here in 2006. I don't know, yeah, like this might just be me, right? And I'm a bit weird with stuff like that when it comes to Eurovision, but like Cyprus singing Com Si Com Sala, I don't know, man. It just feels a bit, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like hearing every country singing their own language, you know what I mean? So now they failed to qualify um, quite a few times now in a row. Okay, this definitely doesn't sound like Cyprus now. Tell me about your stories. Tell me about your stories. Sana ke no sanga pisa, kibas ti na kanyamu. Ela sana yo ti dice, so posti me miamu. You know what, yeah, give me songs like that last one over this any day of the week.
By the way, this guy here, I would have never have guessed he was a singer. I give you my heart, you give me Okay, okay, so here we've got, in my opinion, uh, Cyprus's best entry ever. You've got Eleni here and they've got the best position um, in Eurovision. They've come second. I tell you what, yeah. I'll be honest, I was a bit disappointed that year because I was back in Cyprus to win it. I wanted them to win it. That was a big disappointment, you know what I mean? I feel like they got robbed with that one, but it is what it is. You know what, that is a shame yeah, that Eurovision didn't go ahead that year for them because that was a banger of a song. But what I would say is that the last few years, Cyprus has gone down this route and um, since Eleni, I think they kind of like, maybe like, switch went off and they thought, you know what, let's keep going down this route because they've done well. And yeah, the songs have been bangers. And this one, El Diablo, banger again. This one, yeah, listen, let's talk about this one, yeah? Because for me, this was my favorite song, yeah, of Eurovision last year. You do not know how many times I listened to this, right? Bang on. You don't know how excited I was for this year when it came to the semi final. But you know what, yeah? When she started singing, I thought, oh no. I thought, what's happened here? She absolutely flopped, and that's why she failed to qualify. The chorus, she sang it well, but the rest of it, listen. Nerves, it was nerves. I'm putting it down to nerves, but yeah, man, I was disappointed. But the song Bang Rock. <laughs> That's it for checking out all of Cyprus's entries to Eurovision from 1981 to 2022. And listen, for me, um, I think look, you can't expect Cyprus to, to like absolutely smash Eurovision, but they haven't really flopped. If we're being completely honest, um, I would say um, before the Eleni period, uh, yeah, they flopped quite a bit. Like a few failed to qualifiers and all that. But then from Eleni onwards, yeah. The songs were bangers, man. Let's call it for what it is. So yeah, um, Cyprus, absolute bangers for Eurovision. And this year, uh, they've got a decent song again. So let's see how it does. But that's it for the video, guys. We're gonna wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below some more suggestions. I'll try to check out for you guys as always. But I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching. Keep yourself safe out there. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a good one.